Showering with body changes means tending to the skin folds. And don't y'all get brand new. You know what them skin folds is. You know where this skin bends in. It can get a little sweaty in between. Hey y'all, it's your girl, Dr. Nina. And let me share a thing or two with you. <laughs> this body done been through what? Some changes. Let me see between weight gain, weight loss, HS, now pregnancy and more, honey. Now the main changes that I've had to tackle include increased sweat, increased discharge, hydratinitis superativa, stretch marks, skin moisture, acne, and oral health. I mean, what else could somebody need? And I'm starting to believe that Texas is more confused than I thought because the fall might as well be the summer continued. Now on a serious note, many of y'all have asked me how my hygiene routine has changed since my pregnancy and I thought I would address that in this video. But don't worry, this video is how to level up your hygiene for all body changes, honey. Mama got you. But go ahead and click that like button and subscribe. It costs you absolutely nothing, it's free. Since you are gonna already love the content, I know you're gonna stick around and continue to watch. But also let me know some of the things that you're using in your hygiene routine these days. And let let me know down in the comments what would you like to see from me in the future. Don't forget that all the things that I'm using are down in the description. Let's go y'all. Now I've certainly struggled with my pits and honestly whenever my body goes through changes that's one of the first things that need adjustment. I used to allow a bit more time for my pits to air out after shower but give it a good 20 minutes and the floodgates of the devil's breath will open aka my underarms. I've noticed recently that I sweat a lot more and that's a lot for me because I already sweat a lot. And these days I've learned to drink more green tea. It's full of magnesium and vitamin B. This can help to constrict those sweat glands and keep you more calm. And when it amps up the most, I use tea tree oil. It's like an astringent to stop sweat causing bacteria. I just soak a few cotton rounds in tea tree oil and a little olive oil to cut it up and blot it underneath those underarms daily. In a few days y'all, I promise I see less sweat. And witch hazel on the low has saved my pits as well. It acts as an astringent and antiperspirant. It helps to dry out my skin a little more and closes up those pores to prevent sweating. And the Arm & Hammer natural deodorant lately has been amazing for me. Don't smell like much, but it sure keeps me from smelling sweaty. And to reduce pesky sweat overall, I wear cotton breathable clothing all day and even at night when I go to bed. And for my sweet feet that allow me to get sweaty enough to moonwalk, I've been using the Dr. Till's Revitalizing Foot Spray. It not only helps me to relieve those achy tired feet at the end of the day, but it deodorizes and it cools my feet. The best thing is I can spray it on direct to my foot or into my shoe. Worth all five of them dollars. As some of y'all know, I done had backyard bras with them stretch marks. <laughs> nah, but for real though. Now, I don't have any problem with them, but I do enjoy taking the best care of my skin. Weight loss, weight gain, and now pregnancy have really helped to make those more apparent. But I've seen your compliments and your questions about how I've kept them from getting more excessive. I mean, of course, stretch marks include a lot of genetic stuff, but there's some things that you can do as well. Besides exercising, drinking water, eating more vitamin C and E, zinc, silica, B2 and B3, bars. The secret is simply moisture and oiling up as a prevention measure these days. I cannot let my skin get dry at all or the marks will become more prominent. I mean, I lather my skin like a Thanksgiving turkey, boo. I mean, as soon as I'm out of the shower, I'm reaching for a creamy lotion or butter. And these days, I'm loving Nivea, Palmer's, Zara's Crown, and Bio Oil. Now specifically, the Zara's Crown, their lotions and Mommy Glow oils help to work wonders. I was sleeping on them. They have a blend of shea butter, mango butter, almond oil, rosehip seed oil, which all help to nourish, but also seal in moisture. All the good stuff and stuff. And I have them linked below with 20% off. My skin feels so nourished, glistens, and smells bomb. Look, these practices have helped me to have little to no new stretch marks on my body, and I feel like the old ones are getting nourished and they're lightening up. Remember, the goal is to keep the skin hydrated and ready for stretching. I also have my own oil mix ingredients in the description. Y'all, my little lady love has experienced so many different changes. However, I've made it my duty to understand my body chemistry more as my hormones change. And I'll tell y'all, surviving the summer pregnant made me appreciate new ways to care for my V. TMI, but there's more discharge due to hormones. And the folds of my skin can turn to rivers of running water with sweat, that is. I do keep deodorant wipes around, and with increase, I do wear panty liners. And of course, I shower and remove moisture with care. And y'all know I'm using the bidet every day, okay? But due to being nervous about HS flares in the folds of my skin, my goal is to stay pleasantly clean and dry daily. I've also been loving a Black-owned product, Glow Melanin. Their products are formulated for melanin-rich skin. They've helped over 50,000 women fight hyperpigmentation, ingrowns, and dark spots. Their products are natural, cruelty-free, and don't break the bank. And guess what? They bringing y'all today's video. Now let's talk about this here Peachyoni Wash, honey. It helps to maintain pH balance, 
products, eliminate peculiar smells and harmful bacteria, can help to relieve period cramps, and softens and moisturizes the yoni. The aloe vera in it keeps me so soft and moisturized. I feel soothed and fresh without being flowery. And it's to be used on, but never in the yoni. Another great compliment here is the Goddess Yoni Oil, which helps to get rid of ingrown hair and razor bumps. It also alleviates dryness and maintains a healthy pH. I've also seen some areas of my body that darkened in weight gain and now in pregnancy. The turmeric dark spot removal scrub is clutch for this. It smooths and brightens skin, it exfoliates, it's anti-inflammatory and helps to repair damaged skin. This helps with hyperpigmentation, face and body marks, inflammation, melasma, and more. I've been using it to focus on my neck, chest, knees, and elbows. And there's also my favorite, the turmeric brightening soap. This helps to brighten and even skin, moisturize and rejuvenate, and smell amazing from head to toe. This helps me with dark marks on my face, back, and inner thighs. I'm loving how these products deliver and add to me looking, feeling, and smelling amazingly natural. And if you're experiencing some of the same concerns I have, then you're gonna love giving Glow Melanin a try just like I did. Go to www.glowmelanin.com and use my code DrNina15. Find it all in the description. I've had to learn to keep my eyes out for possible hydratinitis flares. What is this? It's a condition that causes painful lumps to form under the skin. This usually develops in areas where your skin naturally rubs together, like armpits growing, buttocks and breasts. They heal slowly and sometimes reoccur and cause tracks underneath the skin and scars on top of the skin. Let me know if you want a full update video on my case of hydratinitis superintiva. Now I haven't had severe problems with mine since my mid 20s, thank you God. Usually mine come underneath my arms and I'm grateful that it's been nicer to me in my latter years and I would say it's probably due to a lot of the weight loss and my hygiene practices. It's not due to bad hygiene though. In pregnancy I've seen no more than a start to a flare and then it goes away. To combat this especially when I feel a flare is coming on there's a couple things I do. To cool and calm the area aloe vera always works hands down. I try to use actual aloe leaves instead of aloe in the bottle because it just seems to work so much better. I just slit the leaf and take it out and put it on. And sometimes I might cover it with gauze or panoxyl patches. Now those are amazing. They have advanced hydrocolloid healing technology and they seem to soothe while covering for me. And I just talked about adding turmeric back into my regimen through Glow Melanin. Now turmeric has been found to have anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. Some people ingest it, but topically it has worked well for me to just help reduce flares. And a new one I've tried is Vicks VapoRub. When I feel a flare is coming, I apply it and it seems to relieve the pain. This could be due to the active ingredients like camphor, eucalyptus, and menthol. And the thyme oil and antifungal help to reduce the itching when it's healing up. I only apply this to closed areas and then I cover sometimes. The smell is also comforting because sometimes HS can come with a less than pleasant smell. Otherwise, I focus on keeping these areas clean and dry. Showering with body changes means tending to the skin folds. And don't y'all get brand new, you know what them skin folds is. You know where the skin bends in. It can get a little sweaty in between. Of course, there's a desire to manage body odor by watching what you eat, by keeping skin clean and armpits shaved down, and also applying deodorant or antiperspirant daily. But there's even more than that. These days, my skin folds a lot more, causing sweat, odor, and irritation sometimes. I usually shower no less than one to two times daily. I focus closely on the areas that fold and hold sweat and bacteria. And with baby on board, I like to make sure that I'm washing underneath my belly fold and also my belly button. And also where those bra lines crease, where y'all know it can get a little bit ripe. Also between the skin folds where the leg and the groin meet. So this helps to keep bacteria from kicking up and meeting with sweat and causing odor and irritation. The things that ain't invited to the party. This is also where hydration and sealing in hydration come in. While using scents that don't mask odor, but add to current body chemistry. With my skin, especially in fall, I practice hands off and frequent changes in bedding. I am pimple prone and full of oil. Not what y'all thought I was gonna say I was full of. Touching my face increases breakouts while the bacteria from my hands gets into my pores. And y'all, if I ain't watching them oily pillowcases and head scars at least twice weekly, I can expect for the zits on my face to blow all the way up. It's like it pushes the dirt in even more. And the changes in season often causes angry skin for me as well. And because I can't use my usual harsher treatments at this time, I've been leaning into my Aquamel adult acne medication cream. Now y'all asked me for a benzoyl peroxide alternative treatment to panoxyl and this is it. The active ingredients are resorcinol and sulfur. And keep in mind that it will dry the area out so moisturize right after. 
My oral hygiene has been more important than ever with changes. I'm still in that dentist chair at least two times yearly. In fact, I was in there last week. I brush my teeth at least twice daily and floss twice or more daily. In fact, I floss, brush, rinse, and tongue scrape. I've also started to use proxy brushes again in between my teeth to get into those tight spaces. I told y'all my teeth are very close together, but that cuts down on tartar and buildup. And it gets all the nasty gunk from in between that flossing can miss. And pregnancy teeth is a thing. And some people end up with spacey teeth as well as teeth that are loose. I just can't right now in the name of Jesus. So y'all, I hope today's video has been beneficial and you've learned a lot about some of the things that you can do with body changes and your hygiene. You do not have to give up. It's just a matter of trying different things that might work best for you and your body chemistry. And this is not a way to change. All of us have a different smell, a different chemistry and everything else. So honey, while people be laughing, trying to talk about people and say they funky because they talk about hygiene, baby, they probably the funkiest, okay? Make sure that you comment, share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching y'all. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace.